Welcome back to Lemon's Cocktails. As you can see, we're doing a little bit of a location change today. That's because I wanted to try something a little bit different and do a quick bottle review. Uh, I know these are pretty common all over YouTube, but what I wanted to do is talk about some of the ingredients that I'm using in the cocktails or just some of the bottles that I buy that, that we don't make it into cocktails. Uh, so today to start this off, I wanted to use this nice delirium gin. So I picked up this bottle a few weeks ago in Brussels and I couldn't find anything online about it whatsoever. Um, there was nothing on YouTube or Google reviews, nothing at all. So I figured this would be a good chance for me to review it and put some information out there for anybody who's interested in maybe picking it up. What I know about it is it's made by a third party distiller. I think they're called Rubens Distillery and it's based off of one of Delirium's beer, the, uh, the Tremens beer. Now, Delirium itself is a bar in Brussels. They have thousands of beers on tap. They're known for being a huge, huge beer place. Uh, it's really fun to go to if you're ever in Brussels. Highly recommend you dedicate one or two nights to just going there and trying as many beers as possible. The atmosphere is great, and it, it's a pretty nice place to have a nice beer. Side note, they also have a tequila place, but um, it was closed when I went there, unfortunately, so I didn't get to go, so I guess I will have to go back. So it being a gin that's based off of a beer base is kind of interesting to me. I'm really interested to give it a try to see what it tastes like because there's really just nothing out there about it. So with that said, let's go ahead and pour a drink. That should do. I'm using my nice Delirium glass as well. Their logo is a pink elephant. It's everywhere. It's all over their merchandise. And this is a beer glass, but it'll do for this particular uh, circumstance, I think. Hmm. So on the nose, it is definitely very ethanol heavy. Um, I don't get a lot of the botanicals that you normally get on the nose of gins. It's not very juniper forward seeming so far, but there is a slight hint of that beer that it's based on, the Tremens beer, which is interesting. And I don't really know where this is going in this drink. So with that said, I'm just gonna give it a try and see how it is. So it's definitely a unique taste, that's for sure. I've never had a gin like this, and I'm not really sure how gin flavored this actually is. If you're a heavy juniper lover, I don't, hmm, I don't think maybe this would be for you. It definitely wants to be a gin, but I don't know that in the end it kind of comes out to be very gin based. Like I don't think this would be very good in most mixed cocktails or anything because there's not enough of that bright botanical or even juniper heavy taste that most gins have. I don't know how it would blend necessarily. So what I wanna do now is I think I'm just gonna make a gin and tonic with it really quick and see how it mixes with the tonic water because that's how a ton of people do enjoy their gin. And it's a really good way to see how it mixes in probably the easiest gin drink there is. On a nice bright afternoon, a gin and tonic doesn't sound so bad. So let's go ahead and make a gin and tonic. All right, so we've got our gin and tonic. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. So honestly, it's not that bad. I really like the taste of tonic water. The quinine taste is actually really good for me. Uh, I think it's pretty delicious. I know a lot of people don't like it, which is weird to me, but you know, whatever. Um, I think this tastes pretty good. It does help cover some of the weirdness of the gin. That being said, I don't think that's what you really want to avoid the taste of the gin. I'm not really a big fan of this, but I think it's interesting what they did to build it off the beer. There's a lot of room for potential in that type of thing, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think this is really for me. What I actually find interesting about, all the, about this gin is that it says it's a dark gin everywhere online that I can see, and it's pretty clear like normal gin. So it's only 42% by volume for alcohol content, so it's not super high and in your face with the ethanol, and it's actually pretty low for a lot of gins. I know uh, a, ba a basic Plymouth is in the, the mid 40s, the high 40s even maybe, um, and obviously the Navy strengths are way higher, which is what I prefer, but you know, we can't compare everything to the perfect gin. So 
I think one of the main reasons I bought it was that it, does, it did look like a pretty cool bottle, which should have been the first indicator that maybe the contents weren't that great. Um, it's made to look like a copper beer brewing kettle, and it, and it does definitely look cool. It definitely catches the eye. Um, I don't know where this would quite fit in a cocktail making collection or a neat drinking gin for anyone who does that. It's, I think it's almost closer to a slightly beer flavored vodka than a beer based gin because for me, again, the botanicals just don't come through enough, which is a little disappointing because I was hoping to find some great new gin that no one had seen and reviewed before, but I guess it wasn't meant to be this time, but you know, I'll keep trying. So this is a new format I'd like to do every once in a while to just kind of break down some of the spirits that I use and just drink them on their own because you really get to know what they taste like on their own and maybe how they could pair better with other things in the collection that you might have or some other things that you're looking at buying. You might get a better idea of what they taste like so you don't waste 20 to $40 on a new liqueur and it'd be absolutely terrible. If you have any suggestions for any type of bottle reviews that you think I could do, please leave me a message in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be doing more like this every once in a while, and that's all I've got for today. So uh, cheers, have a good one, see you next time.